family of a seven-year-old Final Light boy struck and killed by an SUV tells us tonight they're donating his organs. David Custance was pronounced dead on Sunday after the incident Friday evening in the 500 block of East Pioneer Road. This hits hard. I mean, this is this truly hits uh, as a tragedy for this entire community. Custance went to Pyre Elementary School and just wrapped up first grade. Counselors were on hand at the school today. Neighbors tell us that Custance was in the bushes playing when he darted into traffic. The driver of the SUV, a 53-year-old woman, has not been cited. Police tell us the investigation is ongoing. In an action to news exclusive, Jason Zimmerman spoke to the uncle about the decision to donate and what they're now saying to the driver. For the family of seven-year-old David Custance, the past few days have been extremely emotional, with David being on life support and family having to say their final goodbyes. David was one of those kids that no matter where he went, he was the life of the party. Hey, we could take him to the park. He'd make friends with people he's never met. Brian Fujeri is the boy's uncle and tells us over the weekend the decision was made to donate David's vital organs, including his heart, kidneys, and liver. Once doctors at Children's Hospital in Milwaukee believed he could no longer be saved. Well, my sister and her husband were talking about her for a long time. Uh, they were. They found this would be the best way for them to keep a little part of their son around even though he's he's passed, but it would be the best way. To, and knowing David the way he was, he would have, if he was old enough to make the decision, he would have took it on his own and told him to give everything he could. For the family, there's now comfort knowing parts of David will live on beyond his own passing. It brings a lot of joy to my heart knowing that my nephew's still going to be around. And, and there's going to be some people out there that because of him, he's... They're going to be they're going to be alive to be with their families. As for the driver who struck David, the family isn't casting any blame. It was just a tragic accident. It's really, in my opinion, no fault of anybody's because kids are always outside playing. Accidents can happen and my family don't hold the driver to any fault. I also spoke to a person claiming to be a friend of the driver who tells me she is devastated and has not slept since the incident. The state patrol is handling accident reconstruction. Their report is likely to come out within the next couple of weeks. Reporting in Final Act, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News.